Welcome to our tutorial on progressive billing. Progressive billing is the term used to describe the process of billing a job in multiple stages. Whether it's simply a large quote being broken into multiple invoices, or a job that is being billed in stages. The progressive billing function in ESC uses quotes, jobs, and billing codes to allow you to set up these job prices and bill a percentage of the quote in different phases. We'll start with the setup. Go into Company, System Setup. Here, you'll select the Progressive Billing tab. When progressive billing invoices are created, the items used on the quote are grouped by their type into a single billing code. You'll need to choose which billing codes will be used to represent those groups, such as labor, material, and other. You'll also have the ability to assign billing codes for change order items, so that you can separate these on the invoice. You'll also have the ability to assign a default invoice specifically for these progressive bills. Once you've made your selections, click OK. Now it's time to create the quote. Here I have an example of a quote with a variety of items already added to it. In order to begin progressively billing this quote, simply select the Bill button on the toolbar and then click on Progressive Bill. You'll be presented with a pop-up that will help you to pull information from the quote to the invoice in segments. The request number will help you keep track of which stage of the bill you are about to generate. The Percentage to Bill option allows you to enter a percentage of the quote that you want to bill for. When you enter a percentage, ESC will automatically calculate a percentage of each type of item on the quote. For instance, if you choose to bill 25% of the quote, then ESC will automatically fill in 25% of the total labor on the quote, 25% of the total material, and so on. You can also manually enter the amounts you want to bill rather than entering a percentage. Tacking on additional charges will transfer the amount you enter from the quote to the invoice so that you'll have much less to bill in future invoices. Below the total amount being billed, you'll see a list of inventory items from the quote. Here, you will be able to select which items you want to add to the invoice at this stage of billing. When you are ready to bill the final stage of the project, you can simply click the Bill Remaining Amount button and everything that has yet to be added to an invoice will be selected. Clicking OK on the Progressive Billing screen will pull all of the information you've entered onto the Sales Invoicing screen. You'll be able to see the total contract amount of the quote, as well as the individual billing codes for labor, materials, and other. You'll notice that some line items are set to Not Print and Display is grayed out, while others are marked to print. This is because you don't want your customer to see all items involved in the calculations of the invoice. That concludes our lesson on progressive billing. For more information on building quotes or invoicing, check out our other tutorial videos on the ESC Sales Module.